All right, guys, in this video, I'm gonna go over Perspective 101, pretty much. How to go in, how to create your horizon line, add in a vanishing point, and start to build up some various buildings, whether you're gonna do houses or a cityscape. Um, whatever you choose to do in the end is okay with me, uh, but I just wanna go in and get you guys starting to draw um, your shapes into the vanishing point. So, the first things you're gonna need and I'm gonna take this away and I'll reference it later on in class, is you're gonna need a sheet of paper. I'm gonna be giving you guys in class some basic newsprint to start on and kind of follow along with this video. I'm gonna go in first and I'm going to make my horizon line. So we discussed in class, this is where the sky and the ground meet. So I'm just going in, I'm making two little tick marks like that with my ruler. And then I'm gonna go in and you're gonna wanna draw your horizon line pretty light. I'm gonna go in kinda dark, just so you could see it for the purpose of this video, where it's gonna be located. And I'm gonna kinda hold it up so you could see it. So you have a horizon line in there. Let me try to get this a little bit more focused. All right, there we go. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna wanna do after that is you're going to want to determine where to add in your vanishing point. There really is no right place to put it, but I usually like to put it a little off to the side just so that I can get more variety going on in my picture. Um, the next thing you're gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a house form first. So you're gonna wanna go in with your ruler and you are going to want to measure out a square. I usually like to measure it out with my ruler to make sure that it's going to all be even. So I'm going to start out with about a two inch square. And I'm going to go in and erase a little bit. And I'm gonna have this go up maybe about two and a half inches just to add a little bit more variety to it. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead in and I'm gonna just draw it straight across so that I have my box. So all I have is a square facing forward and it's gonna look something like this. The next thing you want to do is we're going to start to turn this into a building. So you're gonna to wanna to take the three points that you could see, so that's gonna be these three on the square, and we're gonna to wanna to draw them back to the vanishing point. So we're just connecting point to point. So I'm gonna go from the corner of this square back to the vanishing point. And you are gonna to wanna to draw these lines light because we are gonna go in and erase them. But like I said, I'm just drawing them a little bit darker so you guys could see a little bit easier and so that it picks up on camera a little bit better. So I'm gonna have something like that. Now in order to turn it into a house, what you wanna do is we're going to go in and we're going to decide how long you wanna make it. So if you wanna go back into the distance and create a long shopping center or something like that, or if you wanna make it a little bit shorter and make a house, you could do that as well. All I'm doing is um, holding my ruler completely parallel to the horizon line, and I'm going to draw a line across, just like that. Then I'm going to hold my ruler completely vertical with the paper. Um, a common mistake, mistake in perspective drawing is to kinda of hold it vertical like that. What you wanna do is just take it from this point here and all we're gonna do is just go ahead and draw down. So now we have a cube. What we're gonna wanna do now is we're gonna go ahead in and erase any of these extra lines. That's why you wanna make sure to draw them really lightly and then later on we could sharpen them up. So that's how to create your basic cube. On the other side, I'm going to show you what it would look like if I were to go in and draw something a little bit taller, so something above the horizon line. So, I'm gonna go in, and once again, I'm gonna measure out my shape. So I'm gonna go in, maybe I'll do about two and a half inches. 
and I'm just gonna draw this straight up and we're gonna make it go over the horizon line and I'm gonna show you guys just in case you want to do like a cityscape or some skyscrapers how you could go in and do this I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna make a straight line across the bottom and a straight line across the top and then you could go in and erase any of the excess that you have now because your tall building is going to be blocking the horizon line we could go ahead and erase that as well because we're not going to see it from here we only have two points that we could connect to the vanishing point that's going to be this one and then this bottom one here if we were to draw one from here to here we wouldn't see it because it would be cutting through the building so I'm gonna go from the top and draw my line and then I am going to go from back here and draw my other line in and now because we don't have anything to draw on the top like we did in this one all we have to do is go in on the side and just make a line going vertically straight up and down with the paper and then we're going to go in and erase. So we're going to erase the horizon line because we wouldn't see that behind our building. And then we're also going to go in and erase the lines that went back to our vanishing point. So there is a lot of erasing involved with this. You guys can use the really nice erasers in class. But the lighter you draw, the easier it's going to be in the end. So that's how you would start to draw your two basic buildings. Uh, the next thing I'm going to go in and do is I'm going to go and show you guys how you could draw a rooftop. So it's really pretty simple. What you're going to do is you're going to go in and measure. And I started this out at 2 inches. So I'm just going to make a little mark in the middle for 1 inch. Now from the 1 inch point, I'm going to draw a line going straight up and down with my paper. And you can make it as tall or as short as you want it to be. It's completely up to you. I'm then going to go in and I'm going to connect these two points to the top of however long, um, tall I decided that I wanted my roof to be. So I'm going to connect that and connect this. So we're really starting out with basic shapes. So now we have something that looks like a triangle on top of that roof. I'm going to go in and I'm going to erase everything behind it because it is the side of a roof we're not going to see that. Then I'm going to go in from this top point up here and I'm going to draw a line all the way back to the vanishing point. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from the vanishing point and create a line that's parallel with the original triangle line I had and that's going to create a very accurate rooftop for me. So I'm going to go ahead and erase that line and then I'm also going to erase back here because we would not see that through the roof. So now you guys have a pretty standard triangular rooftop on there and um, that's pretty much the basic of how to create a building. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw in now another building back here and I'm going to make it smaller because like we learned in class as things are um, as things go back into the distance they get smaller so they're not going to be as large and up close. So I'm going to create a really tiny building back here And I'm going to show you how you could make a flattened rooftop. So the same thing goes for the original building we created. We want to go ahead and we want to connect our three points that we could see back to the vanishing point. And this is really important because this is going to make everything accurate for you. And because this is so close to the vanishing point, we're not going to see a whole lot on the top over here. But once we get a rooftop, then it'll make sense. So I'm going to bring this back a little bit further. Once again, we're going completely horizontal uh, with the paper. 
and then completely vertically down with the paper. And I'm going to erase all these extra lines here. And so now we have a building behind this other building. You can see it right back there. If you do not want to create a triangular roof, you could go ahead and create a square one. I'm going to go in and I'm going to measure approximately halfway. Draw up my line. And it's the same process. Except for this one, you're going to go ahead in and you're going to create a flat area. And rather than connecting to this original point, we're just going to go in and we're going to draw down like that and then we could connect the two sides going back to the vanishing point. And then here, this would be a good technique if you wanted to create maybe like a small barn. Um, for these you are going to want to create some type of destination. So if you want to do a farm you could do that. If you want to do a boardwalk with really tall buildings, if you want to do a cityscape, any of that would be completely fine. So here's how you're going to get some basic buildings into your space. I'm going to show you guys one more thing in this video and then tomorrow we'll go in and I'll start to show you how you could add in windows, um, different textures on the buildings and all of that good stuff. So you want to make sure that you draw all of your buildings in first. Then what we're going to do, um, down the center, off to the side of your drawing, you're going to want to add in some type of road or boardwalk or dock. Um, maybe you want to have your houses floating on water, so you want to create a dock rather than a road. Um, but I'm going to just go in and show you how to do a basic sidewalk for the purpose of this. And I'm going to leave a little area on this side uh, in case you want to have like a front lawn or grass or something like that. So all we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to draw two lines and you can kind of experiment with this to decide where you want your road to lead and I'm just going to draw those going down. Oops, my ruler went a little bit off, that's okay. Just going straight from the vanishing point. So, in order to create a sidewalk, it is going to be the exact same way we created a house. So, I am going to go in here, and I am going to go from the vanishing point again, and I am going to make another part for the sidewalk. I'm also going to go in the inside here and make a really tiny line, and that's going to be the curb. You don't want to make a big line here because then you'll have a curb that wouldn't look very realistic and that you couldn't potentially um, step on or use or walk on. Um, if you guys do want to do a dock or something different like that in your drawing, I can help you go ahead and do that. Let me just straighten up this line a little bit. Okay. So, in order to do a sidewalk, same exact rules when we were making a house. I'm going to go in first and I'm going to draw lines going straight horizontally with the paper. And you could spread these out, you could try to make them even. Remember as things go back into the distance they do fade slightly and they do get smaller. Um, so you are going to want to make them a little bit tinier going back and that's going to naturally work out for you just because you could see it does get smaller as it's going back in space. So I'm not going to go all the way back with that because I think you guys get the idea. Now, in order to make the curb, the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to hold our ruler from the edge of the sidewalk here. I'm just adding in these little points so you guys could see a little bit better. And we're just going to take our ruler and we are going to go straight up and down vertically and just make a real small line and that's going to make your curb for you. So really simple way to start adding in a sidewalk. And so hopefully you guys could see, I'm going to hold it up a little bit, so now you start to have your curb. So this is going to be the first thing we're going to do in class, 
Tomorrow we're going to go over how to add windows, doors, all different kinds of things to our building, and then I'll let you guys start sketching out. Um, we'll probably also learn telephone poles, trees, maybe how to add in a fence, and then we will continue these the rest of the week. Um, so this is all for today, and we will continue tomorrow. Thank you.